Hey guys, what's going on? So I just kind of want to touch on this new mission system again uh, because I sort of made a point to say that it was really cool that they're resetting this for everyone and I guess I'm nearing the end of it but I haven't really checked like ahead of time to see how far it goes but I'm pretty sure I'm I, I'm nearing the end because I'm starting to, to do like chapter 6 hard mode and stuff so I kind of wanted to bring you through the last of it because I've just been having a lot of fun with it and wanted to finish that up in a video with my thoughts and everything uh, especially because I'm very very impressed with the amount of rewards and the quality of the rewards like tons of stamina potions tons of fragments essence even like tons of uh, shards of infinity to make infinity stones, it's just crazy. I mean here we get 100, I guess, selectable essence just for clearing 7-9 normal mode. That's quite awesome. So here we are, starting 7-9. I'm not going to uh, bring you through the whole thing, I guess, just uh, this first part. I'm actually just bringing my arena team to clear this stuff because there are also missions that tell you to go into arena, and so it's easier not to have to swap gear all the time. And while I probably would have decent enough gear for cl clearing story mode for like Nyx or something, it's just much more convenient just to leave everyone on their gear because they can do it. Maybe once they start asking me to clear any hell modes, if that is a quest later on, then perhaps I might have to switch something around. But until then, this is good enough. All right, and we're done with that. Clearing 7-9 normal mode. We can claim our... What? That wasn't even 2,000 fragments of infinity. That wasn't even shown there as a reward. That's two infinity stones. That's freaking crazy. And uh, yeah, 100 essence tickets so you can select which essence you want. Damn, these rewards are off the chains, whatever that's supposed to mean. 400 deluxe potions. I mean, I don't really need them, but thank you. Um, here we got craft any item times 10. Woo, okay. Well, you, it's, it says crafting any, any item, so you can craft 10 essence if you want, just one at a time, I guess. We'll try 10 just to see if 10 works. Uh, again, I don't think I need these, but let's go ahead and try it, see if that works. 10, boom. No, you have to craft it 10 individual times, it looks like. We can craft a couple ancient runes, because, you know, ancient runes are good. Can never have enough good ancient runes. We can craft a unique weapon selector, because there's also quite a lot of unique weapon fragments as well. I think I had 850 before I started, and now I still have 850 after crafting one, so there's at least one full unique weapon ticket in there, and that's awesome. If you have some leftover stuff for, like, May or whatever, you can start crafting some hats you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, just make sure to do it one at a time because that's how it counts. You, you can also just craft one essence at a time if you need any essence, but you know, essence are always good, so. All right, and now we're done with that. Get a key, those keys are actually awesome as well. I'm probably gonna save them for a while and then I'm gonna pop a one hour gold boost, a one day gold boost, use my uh, hot time boost and just get like a ton of gold then. Enhancing one gear to 73, we got that already. 35K Stardust. Here we got some more, 100 more selectors. Jeez, this is quite awesome. For this one, we have to enhance options 10 times. And an easy way to do this, easy, cheap method, especially if you don't have any gear you want, is to just do option enchantment on very low level gears. You'll get these gears by doing the quest and doing the easy things you have to do. Just don't sell them right away. Keep one or two to do these quests on. All right, there we go. And is there, I don't think there are any hidden rewards until it's the last one, then you'll get a hidden reward. Uh, raise one here to transcendence four, got that. 10 of those special. Uh, seven six hard mode. All right, so let's go do that real quick. We must be getting very close to the end because there's not much harder things than chapter seven hard mode except hell. I'm not sure if they're gonna actually include hell mode though. I know it is possible just to skip ahead and see exactly what you have to do, sort of, but I mean those chains are kind of blocking the text, a lot of the text, so I'm not sure if, if I'd really be able to see that anyway. All right, and we're done with that. Let's see if there's any cool hidden rewards in here. Okay. Three gold boosters, not gonna complain. Do we got another page? I think we should actually, oh, I think this is the last page here because I don't see any arrows that way. Clear 7-2 hard mode, you get two infinity stones for that. Quite awesome. Oh, ouch. Okay, well it's just hard mode, not hell, so it should work. If it was hell mode, I'm sure I would have to, actually even hard mode, I might have to switch up my team. I'm not sure if my arena team is gonna, is, is gonna be good enough. Uh, for hard mode here. Well, glad he's not really in my arena team, but he has gear anyway. Well, it looks like they are able to, in fact, take care of hard mode, so that's cool. And let's go grab our stones. There they are. 
Actually, I think you get like three more stones for clearing either hard or hell mode on chapter seven. So if you do that together, you'd be just like rolling in stones. I uh, raised three heroes to transcendence four, got that, got a 10 plus one going on there. Uh, enhanced two gear to level 80, have that already. EXP, ooh, there's a hidden one in there. And got some 600 deluxe. Oh, any dragon raid times five. This one might take a while. Uh, there is another cool trick, not not really trick, but just a little piece of advice if you don't want to actually do five dragon raids. Just go into the highest level raid you have, take the lowest level hero you got, and just go in. They'll, they'll get one-shotted, do that, in this case, five times, and then you'll be done with the quest. You could also, you know, go for some normal dragon raids if you really want to, but I'm strictly focused on completing these quests right now, and then I'm going to go do dragon raids or whatever else. All right, and we're done with this now, so 600 more deluxe XP potions. Here we got 10 ancient runes. My god, that's awesome. Boom, we're going to open those. And here we got three more Stones of Infinity if you have 75 heroes, which we do, and 100 Essence Tickets. So, first of all, that was awesome. I really, really enjoyed doing that again. S uh, some people were saying, oh no, we have to do that again. Man, I was really happy to see that we can do that again. That was awesome. Let's go ahead and just open all 14. Hopefully we get one attack, because, you know, those are like the most sought after for me and for most other people. Um, no. <clears throat> but it's okay. It was all free stuff. We did get a crit there. Maybe we can use that at one point. Uh, d d d d d no MP recovery. Well, there's a... Alright, nothing too spectacular, but it's alright. We also got these. Uh, a new set of T6 uh, legendary gear where you can choose the substats. These are slightly different than the ones we got from the uh, raid tree, I believe it was, because you can only choose three options, and the fourth one is random. But I was seeing a, a sort of bug with this where you, where you can get two of the same stat. So some people had like two crit damages, some people had two crits, and uh, that was pretty funny. Uh, so I'm not sure if there's just a bug with that or if, I don't know, it can be like that. I assume it's more of a bug, but we're not really going to try that right now because I actually think these are pretty valuable. I mean, well, maybe not these since you can only choose three options. Uh, but, I don't know, maybe if you're lucky, the fourth one will be in your favor as well. And, you know, getting it up to T7 is kind of expensive, but since we only can spend raid points on the treasures and once a week with the NPC stuff, I think it's uh, still pretty good. 300 essence ticket, we can select 300 of whatever essence. Again, I'm saving those for when I would actually need them for something. Uh, but these are random, so we can go ahead and open up those. 300 random essence, it's quite cool as well. And we got these tickets as well. I don't know. I'm probably not going to bother opening them right now. I can't see a purpose for T4 or T5 ancient gear. Uh, but who knows. We also got a lot of selectable fragments. We have, I mean, we. I, I've never used these before. I know how they work, but I've never used them. So, so you won't get all of these. But a significant portion of them did come from the quests. As well as the selectable books. Again, I had some of those previously. I mean, we have 50 arena tickets when, whenever we want to use them, 8 royal treasury keys, 10 upper dungeon keys, that's freaking awesome, 100 rare runes. Let's go ahead and get those out of the way and then probably grind them later, because uh, I guess I don't need to use those. A ton of random skill books, just a lot of everything, and that's really cool. We can also open these heroic runes here. Guess we won't really be needing those. But we got an attack and a massive amount of stamina potions as well. I'm not sure how many stamina potions I had before, but I know it wasn't anywhere near almost 600. It's probably around maybe 300 up to 400. So tons of stamina potions, just tons of good stuff all around. One other tip for clearing these is when it says to go into like Ancient Royal Vault, or stockade. You don't actually have to use a key there. You can just enter and leave and that will still count. Same with dragon raids as you saw and the thing with the gear option upgrading. You can use any low level piece of gear if you don't want to spend higher amounts on higher gear. Unless there's a gear you want to enhance anyway then just go for that of course. The most trouble I had was with the friends actually because I already had 50 friends and when it says to get two friends then I would have to e either delete someone 
actually even one time I just deleted T and Tiny and asked her to accept my friend request twice and that worked as well. Uh, but also exchanging Amity points was a problem too because, you know, most of the time I just hit the button at the beginning and then, you know, I can't really do it anymore. So I'd have to get two new friends to exchange Amity two more times and, and that was a little bit annoying. But you can also just go into World Chat Channel 1, everyone's doing the same thing, asking for friends and Amity and all that. So it shouldn't be too hard if you just, you know, actually open world chat so that's actually the hard part but regardless but that's actually it for this video i suppose uh guess there wasn't a huge point to this besides just doing the updated quest system the last part of it anyway and more than anything showing my appreciation that they did that because that was a cool fun thing to do a uh, nice little breakaway just from the daily you know repetition grind uh, whatever, either 7-4 or Dragon Raids. So, a breath of fresh air. That'll do it. Tell me what you think about it in the comments down below. Leaving a like would also be greatly appreciated if you did happen to enjoy. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.